Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, GD for Firebase, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could use remote config with Jetpack Compose. Well, why should you use remote config? So the prime reason is that if you want to change the app appearance or behavior without pushing app update once again on Play Store or even App Store, then remote config is the service meant for that. Which means that, say, if you want to change the theme of your application or the predefined layouts, then you can do all those things through the Firebase console itself. Just go to remote config, toggle the value, and as soon as the time interval expires, it will try to fetch the updated value once again. And based on that, you can do certain action in the app. So anything which depends on a key value pair can be controlled through remote config. The best thing is that it is available for Android, iOS, and web, which means that not just mobile application, you can even control your websites. Okay, now let's get started with remote config. What do I'm going to do here is that here I have a app where I have this list view. This is nothing but a vertical list. And what do I want is like, instead of this vertical list, I want this to be a horizontal list. And I'm going to change this by changing the remote config value. It's a normal key value pair where I could say like, is it like a horizontal or the vertical? And then based on that, I've already defined my layout like, if it is horizontal, then have a horizontal list. If it's a vertical, then have a, a vertical list. Now let's check out the Gradle first of all, because you need to add the dependencies. So here I'm using the Quad Firebase. So Quad Firebase is the library which I have created, which gives you an ability to add Cloud Fire Store, Remote Config, Cloud Storage, and the Analytics. Now let me switch back to the XML. So one thing with remote config is that from remote config also you are getting value from server. From real-time database or any other database also you get from the server. So how it is different from the database? So one thing which makes the difference is the time interval. With the database, you get the update as soon as it is available, if it's a real-time, and if it's not a real time, then as soon as you press refresh button or some other activity you do based on that, you may ask for the update once again. But here with remote config, you specify the time interval. That after how many intervals, it should try to fetch the updated content from server. And the second difference is that unlike the database, here you maintain a local copy beforehand which means that say for the first time when a user is installing your application, they may not have internet. Still, it doesn't matter because you already have a local copy which you define in the XML like this. Or even you could define with a key value pair like map of. So here I'm using the .xml file where I've given this key value pair. By default, it will take true value. And then as soon as it fetch from the remote config, it will update this value. So when I call this key, I may not get this value, rather I'll get the updated value. And now let's switch back to our main activity. So here with Cot Firebase, you need to initialize the remote config first. And here I'm doing it. Inside on create, I'm initializing it with the default value and with a fetch interval of 10,800 seconds. Now one thing is that do not reduce this to below one hour. Now, if you do this, then there could be probable chances that you may run out of exception because you are you may be sending too many requests to the server. So it's better to have it with an interval of around three hours or six hours. The default one is 12 hours. But now, for example, I want to change this layout as soon as possible, so I'm making it to zero. But never ever do this with your production application. Now let me switch to scene released. Now this app is same as what I have posted before. So I'll give the link in the description below where you could check out that app. I'm reusing the same code so that you could correlate both the application. So caught Firebase get from collection into scenery. Now what this one is doing is that it is trying to fetch from the cloud file store this title and the images. 
So one thing is that Cloud Fire Store doesn't support multimedia. So this images are stored in the cloud storage and URL are stored in the Cloud Fire Store. So with Coil Library, I'm loading these images and the text directly comes from the Cloud Fire Store. Now the next thing is about fetch and show. Now this is really important. When you say fetch and show, what it does is that if the time interval expires, then it will try to fetch and also activate them, which means that next time when you try to read from Cloud Firebase, it will give you the updated value. Like you could see it here. So here, after calling this fetch and show, if the time interval has expired, it will try to read the value and also update itself. Now, when I try to read the same key, what I've defined in the XML, like here, if the values are updated for this keys, now it could be either a single key or multiple keys, then the moment I call remote config dot get remote boolean or int or double based on whatever you have specified, you will get the updated values. So here I have specified one key, which is toggle layout and it's a boolean, whether it's for the horizontal or the vertical list. So if the toggle layout is true, then show me the horizontal list. And if it is false, then show me the vertical list. Now, this is one of the best example what I was specifying that it will not only read from this XML, but it will read from the remote config value. Now here you could see I have given this as true. And now if you see the code, then this is lazy row for, which means that if this is true, it should give me a horizontal list, not the vertical list. But I'm still getting this vertical list because from Firebase to the remote config value, I have given this as false. So even though I have local as true, but the updated one is false, so it is reading this value as false. Now let me do one thing. Let me change this value from false to true so that it will execute this part and will change this layout from this vertical list to the horizontal list. And let me do it from Firebase. I'm going to change this value from false to true. But one thing to remember here is that because it is Jetpack Compose and it depends on recomposition. So fetch and show, the moment you call this, it will try to see if the time limit has expired and try to fetch. However, this do not have a capability to recompose this composable. So how should we update it? Now there are two ways. Either recompose this function or kill the app and launch once again. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me recompose this because I'm using Cloud Fire Store. And if I change the value for this, any of these values like name or image URL, this method will recompose itself. Now what I did is that I have updated the value at the Firebase and I have also changed the title for this image. So as soon as I'm doing changes because it's syncing with real time, so this method will get recomposed. And as it is getting recomposed, fetch and show will get called once again. And by this way, I have changed this layout from vertical list to horizontal list. So that's it in this video. I hope this might be useful for you to understand about how you could use remote config and change the app appearance or behavior without pushing app update once again. Also, the max which you need to do here is just to add the library and the default local keys. So even though your user are not connected to internet or they just come online for a short period of time, it really doesn't matter because as soon as the timer expires and you call fetch and show, it will update the value and store it locally. So that's it in this video and thank you so much. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you and stay tuned.